Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to be creating a command group of three channels, 36, 70, and 192. And I'm going to then uh, demonstrate channel scan and priority scan. And then I'm going to finish with the best uh, field configuration for scanning uh, if you're out on the line uh, for two channels. Uh, we're going to start off by um, doing a quick uh, command group. Um, our command uh, group is uh, number 24, and I just want to start by showing um, it's, uh, it's all empty. So we'll come out of there, and now let's build the, uh, the command group with those three channels. Uh, 36 is our first, so that's going to be in zone 3. So we go 3, enter, and let's go over to 36, and we're going to add it to our command group. And we're going to enter channel one. Uh, now let's uh, add um, channel 70 to the command group. There's that one. We're going to enter and enter two. Now we're going to add tech 192 to the command group. Alright, now we can change back over to the command group and confirm all three channels are there, 36, 70, and 192. Alright, um, now let's, uh, let's go in the scan list and uh, make sure uh, all three are in there. So we'll hit the scan plus symbol here and we see all three are selected. Uh, we could use your plus or minus uh, key here to take him in and out uh, if we wanted, uh, but that looks good. All right. Um, so um, um, we're next going to uh, confirm that our TAC channel is the priority channel. So we're going to go in our menu and find the, the priority channels uh, function. So we'll go in our menu and we'll scroll down to the P's and there it is, priority chance. We'll enter there. We want to go through uh, one, two, and four and confirm that they're off. So off there is good. Two, off, good, and go down to four, and that's off. Great. Now we can uh, st stick on the priority channel for this zone only. So we'll go enter, and we're going to. Uh, we want to make sure our, our TAC channel is the one that's our uh, priority and we see that uh, we got it there. We could, we, you can select uh, different ones by your up and down arrow, but that looks good. So we'll go, we'll go enter there. Now we'll go escape. Now we can go and look at our three channels, confirm that they're in the scan list and that 192 is the priority. Um, we'll confirm it's in the scan list by the check mark uh, up by the battery symbol there. You can see it's there in 36. Uh, 70 check marks there. It also has an H uh, for our high power. Um, the next one is our attack channel. Uh, we have our check mark, H for high power. The blue arrow with the two lines that's showing that it's a, a direct channel, a car to car channel. Uh, it does not go through a repeater. And then finally we have our P1 showing that it's the designated priority channel. So um, all of that looks good. And um, we're ready to uh, give a little demo now of, of how it works. Um, starting with channel scan, uh, I'm on my um, uh, command channel right now. I'm going to engage the channel scan and we'll be able to hear uh, the traffic. Milano Beach, low 745 a.m. And there's, um, there's the weather channel. Now I'm going to uh, try and transmit on our, our priority channel, 192, testing 1234, and it made no difference at all. I'll turn that off. So when you're scanning, um, it locks onto the first active channel it comes across and will remain locked on that channel as long as there's activity. Um, so um, let's do this test again, except next we'll add the priority feature 
and we'll see if there's any behavior difference when I transmit on the priority channel while it's actively listening to another channel in progress. So there is our uh, receive activity. We're going to engage our priority. Now we're going to transmit on 192. Testing 1234, 1234. Release the push to talk. And you see it, um, it, um, it released uh, the, the traffic from channel 36 and went to 192 and locked onto it. Uh, and it will lock onto it as long as there's traffic.